What's up, everybody? Happy Christmas Eve. There's no college basketball on today. There was a game that ended or was played around 12.30 a.m. in Hawaii, which we can't really give you picks and predictions for that because it's already done, and that would be cheating. And if you're wondering, who is this guy? I'm Matt with Beard Laws. Usually, I've been doing some NCAA basketball, but we don't have any of that. There's no hockey. So, what I want to talk about is the only college football game today so we can get a little action on this lovely Christmas Eve, and hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day. And it's the Tax Act Camellia Bowl. We have Georgia State versus Ball State. Georgia State is 7-5. and five. Ball State is 6-6. Six and six. Georgia State is a 5.5-point favorite. And as you've seen, a lot of these college bowls, they're pretty unpredictable. One, in my opinion, is because these guys haven't played in a couple of weeks, so they're getting back into gameplay. You can only practice so much to be able to do this. And two, the COVID thing. You know what I mean? It's kind of really ramping up. It's around the holidays, and this is the last hurrah for a lot of teams, a lot of players, and it's just a super interesting thing. And there are a lot of teams that don't really get to play each other. They're from different conferences. The matchups are wild. All right. So I want to talk about this strictly based on the numbers because I have to be honest, I've never seen Georgia State or Ball State play this year. So Georgia State, like I mentioned, the Panthers, seven and five, but they're eight and four against the spread. They're six and six on the over under. So I would stay away from that. Georgia State is averaging about 26 points a game, but they're giving up about 27 points a game. That's not good for anybody that, that isn't great with numbers. That's not a good thing to give up more than you score. But they are a five and a half point favorite. Ball State, six and six, is five and seven against the spread this year. They're three and nine against the over under. Again, I would avoid that. They're scoring about 24 points a game while giving up almost 20. Seven. So they both give up about 27 points a game, and they're scoring about there. I feel like this is going to be a close game. Part of me really wants to go with the five and a half Georgia State. That's the betting trend. All right, that's the percentage of money. 90% of that. So that means the higher kind of sharper bets are going with Georgia State here. 85% of all bets, whether it's um, the money line or the spread, are going towards Georgia State. 85%, 90%. Those odds, those percentages are too high, I think, not to go with them. The only reason why I potentially was thinking Ball State, the Cardinals, is because neither of them are putting up a lot of points. And really, you know, the difference between them and their opponents is so close that I feel like this is going to be a closer game with that five and a half points. But because of the trend, because of the numbers, and because of what everybody else is typically betting right now in this game, I'm going Georgia State minus five and a half. Lock it in, win some money, get some early Christmas money, and we're going to be back with some more college ball very, very soon. Hopefully you have a fantastic Christmas Eve and an even better Christmas. Thank you guys so much for checking this out. Let me know in the comments what you think about this game.